Okay, so today we learned how to write electron configurations. And what electron configurations um, does is it shows us where all the electrons are located in your atom. We are still going to be using some things we learned about with the quantum numbers. We're going to be representing the energy level. We're going to be representing our orbital shapes, S, P, D, and F. And we're going to see that we use a superscript that will indicate how many electrons are in each particular orbital. So when we write electron configurations, we are writing um, sort of like the location of every element's electrons. And you follow the periodic table as if it was a road map. So I'm going to be doing, these are the ones in our notes, hydrogen, helium, lithium, sulfur, and germanium for the examples. And so I'm going to switch over and show you a periodic table and remind you of a couple of things that we talked about. When we learned about quantum numbers, we said that for quantum numbers and electron configurations, you want to think of helium as being over here living with hydrogen. We said they're like husband and wife. And so we talked about our blocks. We said this is our S block. These were our p orbitals. These in the transition metal section are the d orbitals. And then, of course, down here at the bottom, we have the f orbitals. Okay. The periods that we learned about, the periods, you still use those same ideas. We have first period, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And that is going to be true for the p's, exactly the same. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Remember the D's are off by one from what they look like. So the D's start in the third energy level. So three, four, five, and six. And then the F's are four and five is where they are numbered in the energy levels. Remember the F's come in at this point and at this point. So the F's look like they start in the third, the sixth, but they really start in the fourth. And same thing here. The actinides look like they start in the seventh, but they really start in the fifth. They're off by two. All right. So we're going to be writing electron configurations for the elements that were listed here. And you always, for longhand, you always start at the beginning. What a novel idea. Start at hydrogen. When we do longhand, we're going to show where every electron is because we have to follow the Aufbau principle. Remember we said Aufbau means to build in German. So we have to always fill up the first energy level first. Then we can move on to the second, third, fourth, and so on. So we're going to do hydrogens first. This is the smallest electron configuration because he's the smallest atom. So we're going to say one because he's in the first energy level, s because he's in the s orbital, and he's the first element, so one s one. So we said the electron configuration for hydrogen was 1s1, first energy level, s orbital, first element. Helium lives right beside of hydrogen. So if we're going to go to helium's house, we're going to start back at hydrogen right here. 1s2, he's the second element. So for helium, we said 1s2. All right, trying to start off real simple here. Keep on the same lines, we're going to go to lithium. Lithium is element number three. This is where lithium is located on the periodic table. So if we're going to try to get to lithium's house, we got to start up here at hydrogen's house again. So it's like you're telling me a summary of what you saw along the way to lithium's house. So to get to lithium, you're going to have to go through the first energy level. You're going to pass by a spherical shaped house, and it's going to contain two elements hydrogen and helium, or two electrons. So 1s2. And then you come down to the second energy level, 2. You see s-shaped orbitals first, and you're going to stop at lithium. So he's in an s orbital, and it's the first element, so 2s1. Now these we did in the notes today already, but I'm just reviewing back over for those that were not here. So we said 1s2, because we had to pass by hydrogen and helium first. 
and then we came to the second energy level we saw the s-shaped orbital and lithium was the very first element all right now we're going to do sulfur we'll kind of skip over to sulfur let me show you where sulfur is on the blank table here sulfur is located in the third energy level and then in the p block and it's the fourth one over so this is sulfur's house right here so we're going to try to get to sulfur's house so to get to sulfur's house we're going to have to go back up here to the beginning and we're going to start at hydrogen so to get to sulfur you're going to go through the first energy level there's s-shaped orbitals is what you see first and there's two elements there so one is two come down here two s and you got to pass by two elements so two s two Okay, you're going to keep trucking. Come over here, you'll come to some 2p orbitals. So you would write down 2p, and you're going to pass by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2p6 is what you would write down. 3s, and there's two elements, so 3s2. And finally, I'm arriving to where sulfur lives. This is sulfur street. You see some peanut shaped houses you want to think of it that way 3p and it's one two three four and i stop on sulfur so let me review we said 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p one two three four that would be the answer 3p4 1s2 2s2 2p6 and we said 3s2 3p4 Something I want to show you real quickly, you can check these and know for sure if you got them right. Now these subscripts represent the electrons in these orbitals. So if you add up all the superscripts, they're going to add up to the atomic number. Notice there's one, and hydrogen's atomic number is one. Two, helium's atomic number is two. Add these superscripts. Two plus one is three. Lithium's atomic number is three. Add up your superscripts here. You got 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 6 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's got 16 electrons represented here, and if you look on the periodic table, you will see sulfur's atomic number is 16. All right, let's look at germanium. Germanium is located in the four P's, and he's right here. He's the second one over. We're going to go to germanium's house. All right, so we're going to say 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Notice the pattern keeps repeating. 3s2, 3p6. This time we're going all the way past sulfur. 3p6. 4s2. Now right here, notice you're at your three Ds, and that's what you're going to write down. 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 3d, 10. There's 10 of them there. Finally, you're arriving at Germanian's house. He's in the fourth energy level. He lives in a peanut-shaped house. And he's one, two. He's the second one over. So 4P2 is how you'll finish that up. So let's write that down. For germanium's electron configuration, you would say 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2. Remember, your 3Ds come next. 3D10. And finally, 4P, and he's the second one over. If you add all of your superscripts up, they equal to 32. And that's what you are representing is germanium's, all of germanium's 32 electrons. This is what we call longhand or the complete electron configuration.